at the UFC lightweight division belt. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu -jitsu. doesn't get as high level in terms of jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processed So truly the case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, it's always tough when that said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. The uh -huh. only one. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Three years apart with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. All right, so here he is ready for round one. This man is all the rage given what he did his last time out. It was a win by flush knockout. Now he'll try to keep the momentum going as the challenges get more difficult. You win in the UFC, Nine times out of ten, the next opponent is decidedly better. That is certainly the case here tonight. Punch over the top. Archer, right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get takedowns. That is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He has landed that strike very effectively. Right hand punch from the clinch. And he comes through with a big knee. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, a huge block there. Real quick leg kick. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, huge knee to the head. Massive head kick. Cruz's kick attempt there, blocked. Oh, beautiful hook. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish.
Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You got it. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That one landed oh. clean. Knee to the body. Big knee. Oh, big knee. He's in trouble. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 20 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver 